Colton Runs 2003, aka, Leader, and in command of the Walmart Empire, you have made a big name for yourself, however, how far are you willing to take this? As you can see, I got your car here, are you willing to risk your fleet, your army, your morality, everything that you have built so far? If not you should stop here, because there is nothing I won't do, whatever it takes. Uh, <laughs> um, how do I explain? The internet is a, is a very strange place. I've made some videos about brand Twitter in the past. You know, companies like Wendy's and Burger King all tweeting as if they're people and how that's created this strange dystopia that we, that we now live in. I enjoyed making them, but I stopped because things kind of became a little samey, you know? It's like, how many times can you talk about, you know, Wingstop horny posting on Maine? I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was, ooh, it was weird. <laughs> so basically I told myself that I would only talk about it if something new or interesting in the world of brand Twitter happened. You'll notice that I'm here making a video about brands on the internet. So something happened. What is currently occurring on TikTok and Twitter, but like mostly TikTok, is a war, a war between two uh, billion dollar department store corporations, but a war nonetheless. It's a war that was started over shopping carts and includes threats, bullying, theft, corporate espionage, and like every good marketing scheme from a multi-billion dollar corporation, an exploitation of its undervalued employees. Every marketing scheme needs one of those. Oh, have I mentioned that the war is between Target and Walmart? I don't know if I mentioned that yet. I was talking about them like they were shadowy corporations that we weren't gonna name, but it's Target and Walmart. You're familiar, I presume. But before we get into this thrilling corporate saga, we have a brief word from our thrilling corporate sponsor, Public. Question, are you ready to swear your allegiance to one of these two department stores? Well, you're in luck because I've done a little research and it turns out that the best way to choose a side is to invest. And there's no better way to invest than with today's sponsor, Public. Public.com is an investing platform that allows you to invest not only in whole stocks, but also tiny little pieces of stocks, which is called fractional investing. This allows you to make investments with any amount of money rather than needing to afford the whole price of a stock. All while connecting you to an educational community that can help you build your financial confidence. It's great if you're a beginner because the public app is free and requires no minimums to get started. And on top of that, there's no commission fees on standard trades. I joined public and you can follow me there and see my portfolio if you search Jarvis Johnson YT in the app. Besides myself, you can also follow other people's portfolios like Emma Chamberlain, Philip DeFranco, Cody Co, and many more. Head on over to public.com slash Jarvis to download the app and you'll receive up to $70 in stock when you sign up. Get started today and don't forget to follow me. Anyway, back to the war of the brands. So while this eventually became a marketable internet moment that the brands themselves were chiming in on, it had its humble beginnings with a, a lone Target employee. This Target employee finds a lone Walmart shopping cart, and instead of ignoring it, he weaves a beautiful tapestry of, of fiction and intrigue. Hello, this is a message to Walmart from Target. We are currently holding one of your shopping carts hostage. You have 24 hours to respond. Or else. I like that the or else threat involves pushing a Target shopping cart into the Walmart shopping cart as if he's as if he's hurting it, <laughs> as if it's a, uh, if it's a threatening gesture. Oh no! Don't put the Target cart in the Walmart cart. That'll cause a new. We are currently holding one of your shopping carts hostage. You have 24 hours to respond, or else. Now this is fun, right? It's funny that this person's clearly like bored at their job and they're making, uh, they're having a fun time with it. And we love to see that. It's very, very much the essence of TikTok. So of course this goes viral and then he makes a follow-up TikTok, you know, to continue the narrative. Hello, this is a message to Walmart from Target. We still have your cart. We kept it guarded behind bars, but as each hour goes by, it screams for help only get louder and louder. You can see the sweat dripping off of it from the torture it's endured. Okay, that's rain. And I love how it's behind bars as in the bars that you return the carts to <laughs> at Target. I also love that he is speaking on behalf of 
target because he doesn't give a shit, right? What does it matter? He's like, I think he's like an 18, 19 year old kid who's just like working at Target. But because of the virality of this, of these TikToks, Walmart sees a marketing opportunity. Their marketing team is like, there's this viral trend happening. We've got to respond and make that way, you know, people care more about Walmart and it makes the Walmart graphs go up. And then it makes our bosses happy, which makes our bosses' bosses happy. Anyway, here's Walmart's TikTok. Walmart has a TikTok, by the way. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This is hilarious. It is very funny to look at the Target ball with a Walmart jacket on it and a name tag that says Surge. <laughs> oh, by the way, Target has balls out in front of the store. I have no idea why they have the balls, but it's a thing that they have the balls. The laughing that the man does on the TikTok. He has like a hearty chortle, like he's <laughs> like he's Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but like for some reason, his laugh sounds like uh, the way that a multi-billion dollar corporation would laugh. It's kind of like what I imagine the people in the boardroom are like when they're uh, printing their billions of dollars at, at the expense of their gigantic workforce. This is a solid nine out of 10. Like this is as is, is best a response as, as can be. But the thing is, now we've started an arms race. Now we're trying to continue this viral moment. So of course, Target has to respond. Rangers. They have taken one of our own. Assemble! Starbucks Ranger. Ulta Ranger. Disney Ranger. Apple Ranger. Together, we will take back what is ours. <laughs> what the f*** did I just watch? I'm having trouble, like, piecing together the narrative here. So, one ball has been taken, and now this is another ball that's some sort of war general ball. <laughs> some sort of... Tony Stark ball or Nick Fury ball who has the power to assemble the Avengers of Target's corporate partners. <laughs> Lord knows why they decided to do the like annoying orange style like eyeballs and mouth on a ball thing. I don't know why. It's very unsettling. It is kind of funny. But what's funnier to me and by funny, I mean disturbing, <laughs> is when you look at the actual comments on this TikTok, it's like this thing always happens. Whenever there's a popular brand moment, every other brand is trying to get it, get, a, get their freaking word in edgewise, you know? They're all like showing up in the comments. Pizza Hut Express Ranger is standing by. This is actually kind of sad that Pizza Hut is like, feeling left out that they they were like hey and if you need if you need any extra help we also are in targets sometimes <laughs> so Jaden gives walmart an ultimatum to respond they do of course but also this was posted on the official target account and one really mm, uh unsettling thing is that their tiktok accounts replying as if target is not this multi-billion dollar corporation and is just an uh, a small up and coming TikTok creator here before you get one mil followers. Like imagine leaving a here before this blows up comment on a corporation's video. Like you did not discover Target. Truly this is working if this random person thinks that this account is just a hot young up and coming TikToker. Meanwhile, other random employees are getting involved. In my view, they're always funnier than, than what the brand is doing. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> like, why is why does Colton here have me worried that the carts are about to attack? I guess that's the idea. He looks so stern. He's giving me like full Dragon Ball Z face right now. His TikTok username is Colton Runs 2003. So I'm just gonna assume back in 2003 he was a big deal, but then now he's he's trying to get back to his former glory, theoretically through war, or that's like when he was born. But I refuse to believe that someone could be born in 2003, and I won't be elaborating further. <laughs> Colton has a number of these TikToks where he's corralling around his army of shopping carts like he's a war general slash the Night King. It's okay, Walmart, I rescued our cart. Your move, Target. 
Now, I don't know who this brave patriot is who rescued the Walmart cart. Burnt Bacon 5631, your name will go down in history as a hero, honestly. I can't say for sure if this is the original cart from the video, but a number of different people made videos of them rescuing carts from the hands of Target. It turns out this was like a nationwide epidemic and a number of hostages uh, were taken for the cause. So then Jaden, the original Target employee, responds and it seems that he's been stricken with uh, visions, heavily vignetted visions of carts being returned and he thinks it's just a nightmare. These are getting very cinematic, by the way. Something's not right. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it almost feels as if though something's missing. He he's stricken with the feeling that something something is off, but somehow doesn't realize that it's the cart that is his pr supposed to be his prisoner. But can we just appreciate this wipe right here? I can't quite put my finger on it though. It feels so close. Go off, Jaden. Somebody learned to mask in Premiere. So far, it seems that the two leaders of these warring factions are Jaden on the Target side and Colton on the Walmart side. Target has just lost a major battle. It seems that Walmart has returned a number of its hostages home and Target has to make a move. But before they can, Walmart launches a sneak attack. <laughs> That's right, Colton has taken it upon himself to personally steal a cart from Target and asks his viewers to choose a side. Are you red or are you blue? This is funny to me because uh, this is for sure illegal. It seems like everybody's kind of okay with it because it's it's for the it's for the it's for like the brand marketing of it all. But it is quite funny to imagine somebody like in a Walmart costume like loading a Target cart into their car. I'm sure people were watching. I'm sure they were like what exactly is going on here like i feel like if you see a walmart employee at target it's kind of like when you run into a teacher outside of school and you're like what are you doing here <laughs> you know like you're not supposed to exist outside of the universe that you're from so i'm sure that caused a lot of uh trauma for people it's also funny that he, colton put his name tag on the card i thought that was a nice touch this is a message to walmart from target Congrats on a successful espionage campaign. So this is one of my favorite TikToks of this entire thing uh, for a number of reasons. Jaden here is insinuating that the Walmart cart is a double agent and they were easily able to capture it because it was a like a Trojan horse of sorts. Two nights ago, your cart escaped, taking back with it hundreds of company secrets. But did you ever stop to consider that maybe it was too easy? that perhaps the cart is only telling you what we want it to. But my other favorite thing is all of the shots of the cart like clearly being pushed out of frame and then just moving by itself, which makes it look like it's an autonomous shopping cart. That your closest ally could also be your closest enemy. You have 48 hours to respond. Which is really has really horrifying implications for the, the war. Um, because if all of these cards can drive themselves, then whew, I don't even want to imagine. Then things take a bit of a gruesome turn. Um, this next clip is, uh is a little hard to watch. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. But after the cart is returned to Walmart, let's just say that it's not taken too kindly. Oh, it messed with us. It appears that we've caught on camera here the true horrors of war as we're seeing a, a gang, a small contingent of Walmart employees brutalizing a poor target cart. I'm sorry you had to watch that. I just think it's really important to illustrate why diplomacy is the answer. But many saw this as a call to arms as target employees across the nation um, armed themselves fictionally this is a fictional thing i know that sounded pretty intense but everybody chill out it's it's a meme <laughs> Why does uh, Rodolfo here give the most like, I keep trying to get out, but they keep pulling me back in. <laughs> like, it's like, why does it give me that energy? And why does he have bandanas? It's just his full target uniform, but I don't remember bandanas being a part of that. <laughs> 
but what do I know? I am but a mere pedestrian here. Often as a consequence of war, otherwise neutral nations or organizations are pulled into the fray. Here you'll see that Home Depot, who famously likes to say neutral in these sort of situations, has taken the side of Walmart. Fortunately, we are never subjected to any cart on cart violence, um, but I think that that's just a tactic that uh, that governments use uh, to to hide the the true horrors of war from the public. So, um, you know, that could be going on here. I know the whole Target thing has gotten a little crazy, but Amazon, don't even think about it. This is between us and Target, so stay out of it. I don't know why you're in our parking lot here, but this is between us and Target. That's not how war works, buddy. It looks like Amazon is stationed right outside of the Walmart base. One can only imagine how it resolved. So then that brings us to the TikTok and the cold open where uh, Anonymous is seemingly involved. The Colton runs 2003, AKA leader and in command of the Walmart empire. So this TikTok is from a creator called DM Vibes. All of his TikToks are so cinematic and so like well done and interesting. And he doesn't have a ton of followers. I just wanted to highlight like some of the small creators who are truly like flexing, flexing their skills for this very absurd trend. And if there's anything good that has come out of this, it's seeing these like burgeoning small creators like doing their thing because this is amazing. <laughs> so then as time goes on, uh, tensions cool off a bit and we enter a, a, a Cold War era of this conflict. Colton is still goading Target into taking action, but it seems that they've made their peace with the stalemate. Stop me! I just want to include this TikTok because it's funny uh, that he calls Target Target. <laughs> and just when I thought I'd seen the end of it, uh, we have reached a point where the devious licks trend has now crossed over into the Walmart Target war. I can't say for certain what happened to the dog, but I just hope he's safe. So I know what this became, but I refuse to believe this was a grand marketing scheme up front. It fully seems like it was started by a few random employees from these companies, and the companies just saw an opportunity and capitalized on it because the TikToks were already viral. At least they didn't fire the person. We've seen that before, where somebody makes a viral TikTok in the workplace, it's a bunch of free advertising for the company, and then they fire them. Like that's maybe the worst case scenario. I really do hope that these employees are being compensated for their contributions, but I have to imagine they aren't. So at least they get some, some TikTok clout for it. You know, because brands pay big money to get anything close to this type of attention. It would be a shame if the employees didn't see at least some sort of kickback. And it's been a few days since that last TikTok. And just when I thought the feud had finally settled down, I was tagged in this tweet on Twitter. The official Twitter account tweeted, okay, but why should we follow you? They do this a lot. They pretend to be a person. Target says, because we're not Walmart. And then Walmart hits them with the Mariah Carey, why are you so obsessed with me meme? And Tom here lets me know that brand Twitter is back at it again. Because you either die a war hero or live long enough to see yourself come back to brand Twitter. I think that's something that we all relate to um, and have all dealt with in our lives. But it is funny that Target hit back with Mariah Carey actually in the store. Uh, it looks like this battle goes to Target. Where are we on the score sheet? No clue. Do I hope this continues? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Some of the TikToks and stuff were pretty creative. Again, this is mostly harmless as long as we remember that these corporations are, are profiting off of our attention here. But I'm a little torn because the employees who are posting are able to post from their personal accounts. They're you know getting a lot of followers from this. They're getting a lot of views from this. Hopefully that's, that's an opportunity for them. That's really cool. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this very weird thing that's happening on the internet that's with brands. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. I'm not gonna pick a side and I certainly don't wanna know where this ends up. I, I'm seeing some teasing of a FedEx UPS war and m honestly, my little heart can't take it. So I'm just gonna bow out for right now. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time. The video's over now.